Hoverboards are fun until they get boring. So what if we could turn one into a go-kart? The plan is simple. Design a frame with a built-in chair, cut the parts from laminated plywood on the CNC and add the handbrake style handles to control the hoverboard. By the end, we should have a working go-kart that anyone can ride. The idea is straightforward. We will make a frame with a seat and connect two handbrake style handles. Pushing or pulling the handles will tilt the hoverboard forward or backward, which controls the movement. We will attach the hoverboard itself using straps and a caster wheel in front for balance. The design looks great in the 3D model, but will it actually work? There is only one way to find out. For this project we are using laminated Baltic birch plywood. It's rigid, durable and since the laminated surface protects it, we don't need to apply any finish. That makes it perfect for something that will mostly be used outdoors. On the CNC we are cutting the 12mm thick material with a 3mm straight flute bit. This allows us to cut everything in a single pass while avoiding tear out on the top and bottom veneers. The result is a clean cut edge that doesn't require sanding. One thing to keep in mind with laminated plywood, the cut edges can be very sharp. Always handle them carefully. Or better yet, wear gloves. Since this cart will be mostly used by kids, we can't have the sharp edges. A quick pass on the router table rounds everything over and makes it safe to handle. It only takes 5 minutes, but it makes a huge difference. We will also chamfer the screw holes before assembly. It's much easier to do the steps now than later, especially on a project with moving parts and somewhat complex build. Now comes the fun part, putting it all together. We will start with the bearings. To make the handles smooth to operate, we are using the same type of ball bearings you would find in the roller skate wheels. They are inexpensive, easy to find and perfect for this application. The cutouts in the axis support components are CNC'd precisely to fit the ball bearings. They simply pop into place and then we can secure them with a cover disc. Next, we add the parts that will attach the handles to the frame. A couple of washers between the components act as spacers, reducing friction and letting the handles move freely. Once both handle axes are ready, we lock them in place with nuts. To tighten everything properly, I had to temporarily remove the axis support, then reattach it once secured. With that done, the handlebars slide in easily. Now the control system is starting to take shape. The base panel secured axis supports and handle mounts and we use 30mm stainless steel screws to hold them in place. These won't rust and they also look great, ideal for a project that will be used mostly outdoors. The back of the frame comes together with mortise and tenon joints reinforced by screws. We add the main frame pieces using half lap joints for extra strength. Next we attach the backrest and seat panels. The screws not only lock the seat in place, but also secure the joints of the frame. Since the plywood is only 12mm thick, I pre-drill each screw hole to prevent splitting the veneers. Finally, we install the front legrest panel, which also serves as the mounting point for the caster wheel. A few angled screws secure it in place. The screws are a bit too long, so by driving them at an angle, we prevent them from poking through the surface. With the caster wheels installed, the frame is complete and ready for the hoverboard. As planned, attaching the hoverboard is simple. A couple of strong straps loop around the mounts, holding it firmly in place. It only takes a few minutes and once tightened, it's surprisingly secure. 
At this point, the whole project is ready for the real test. The kids love it. The controls are simple and they picked it up immediately. But the real question is, can it handle an adult? And the answer is yes. The laminated plywood holds up perfectly and the hoverboard has no problem carrying the extra weight. We turn the regular hoverboard into a go-kart and it works. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.